Hey everyone, if you're watching this as a replay or on YouTube, go ahead and fast forward a minute or so uh, because I'm going to be setting things up here. Welcome, thank you for joining me. We're going to do a Flowdesk workflow setup. So I'm going to show you how to create a template in Flowdesk to where you can just duplicate it over and over again, your images and your branding. All of your emails can look cohesive. And then I'm also going to show you two different ways to set up your workflow. So the first way is just the drip method that pretty much everyone does and everyone talks about where if someone signs up for your email list today, they get a series of messages, emails dripped out over, you know, wait three days, wait seven days, wait two weeks, wait three weeks, that kind of thing. Um, which means if I sign up for your list today, I'm getting the same exact emails that someone who signs up for your list in three months gets in that same order. So everyone's going to be in a different spot in their journey on your list. The other way is to do it by date. So if you have a lot of content on your blog that goes uh, seasonally, this is a great way to make seasonal stuff evergreen, if that makes sense. Uh, so we're going to go in and we're going to schedule the emails out by date which means if you're writing back to school content, maybe your emails are gonna go out in July or August of every single year. And everyone on your list, no matter when they join, is going to get that email on that date. And now there's a few reasons to use each of those and you might combine and do both, because that's what I do. I have a welcome series that does the, you know, signs up, gets the opt-in, opt -in, waits a day, waits three days, da da da. Then they get dumped into the year round list. That's like, Hey, here's some side hustles for summer. Here's some uh, things to keep your kids busy on summer break. Whenever you do your side hustles, you know, that kind of thing. So it's going to be seasonal and going out to the same on the same day to everyone. I do want to mention real quick, because if I don't right now, I'll forget whenever you're setting up your evergreen by date sequence, you want to pick one day a week that the emails go out. Because if not, then say that they're, you know, they're going on on random days. If you have a broadcast you want to send, they might get the broadcast and the evergreen email on the same day or back to back. And that wouldn't be great. It wouldn't be the end of the world. But if you can prevent that, you would want to. So for me, uh, a lot of my blogs do really well on Sundays. So I'll send the emails on Sunday mornings. And then I think I have one that's like Wednesdays. And I just helped a friend set up one where hers is her top day is Wednesday. So she's going to send hers out on Wednesday morning. And then um, I have my PLR blog and my Sadie Smiley blog that both get emails that go out on Thursdays because I do an event on every Friday. So you have to figure out what's going to work best for you and for your blog and your schedule and what you're already working on. Uh, but mostly you can combine the drip and the dates. Uh, pretty easily. So I'm just going to move my screen over here and uh, start working in this window so I can share it with you guys. I'm going to share the Flowdesk window. If you have not signed up for Flowdesk yet, you can use my code to get 50% off. Uh, it's sadiesmiley.com forward slash flowdesk, F-L-O-D-E-S-K. That is my affiliate link and it will give you 50% off, uh, which as of the time of this recording, it's $19 a month, but that is going up very soon. So when you log in, you're not going to see all this because this is a brand new, you're going to have a brand new account, uh, but it's going to look similar. I'm not going to go through the setup of Flowdesk very much just because it's it's simple. You just go through each of these options. But if you go over here to overview, you're going to add your email, you're going to add your time zone, you're going to have your password. Then you can also send, set up a secondary email if you want to send from another domain or another email. And then your domain setup, you're going to have to verify your domain and your email. Then you can go over to branding and add your logo, which I'm in the middle of rebranding, so my face is my logo right now. Uh, and then you're going to add in your brand colors and your company details, your company address, and link your social. And then you can say you can say either on or off for the footer, and um, you'll get money if people sign up. So I would leave it on. Uh, there's an opt-in setup. 
there's integrations, and then you can go to, you know, the plan and billing. So we're not going to cover that in detail. Like I said, we're going to just talk about workflows. But in order to start with a workflow, we need an email. So I like to start with creating a template. So just go to new email. And then the emails that Flowdesk has in here, like the templates, they're absolutely beautiful. But if you're having problems with an open rate or a deliverability rate, I want you to realize these are all very image heavy. Yes, they're pretty. But with them being image heavy, a lot of times they're going to end up in the spam or promotions folder compared to if it was just a plain text email. Now, I have not seen a huge difference in this. I've just seen others mention it quite a bit. So I thought that it would be worth mentioning. If you're having issues, that's one of the first things that you're going to want to troubleshoot. So you just scroll through and figure out, you know, what you want your emails to look like. And you can choose one of those. And you can see if you like it, and if you like it, then you press customize. You can always start from scratch too, but for time's sake, I don't want this to be a three hour video. I'm gonna just do it this way. So this is, remember, this is your template. This is not your email. This is not your first email. This is not your welcome email. This is your template. We're starting with a template. So you're gonna have your intro here, uh, just a you know attention grabbing title. And then you want to make sure you have your colors in here. I didn't have my brand colors situated in this yet because, again, I'm in the middle of a rebrand. Um, even though I've used the same colors for 15 years across pretty much every blog I've ever created, I just wanted to leave it open just in case, you know? Uh, so right here, this is layout. So this is what the layout's like. You can add an image. You can change the colors. If you want to change the color, you're going to click the color and then click block settings. And then you're going to change this background color to one of your brand colors or a color you like. Uh, just make sure that it's not too harsh on the eyes. And that's really vague because some people like a lot of colors, some don't. But just try things out, see what you like. You can link the block. So whenever it says read it or make it or, you know, go here, see what's going on, that kind of thing, you're going to put the link in. And then you have block settings. So you can flip it so they're back and forth. See how these are flipped? Back and forth, back and forth. That's what I like to do instead of just having the same one over and over again. You can change the padding, et cetera, here. And then you can add, because this is already set up, they have a spacer here. But if you want to add something, you would click here and click spacer. Or if you're wanting to add, uh, you know, another layout, image, logo, Instagram, text, link bar, button, you can do all kinds of stuff here. There's not really a need for me to do anything here because the space is already there. I just want to change these colors so they make me happy. And then after you have changed your colors, whoops, it's a little too dark. It's this one, I think. After you've changed your colors, then you can go in and change the text. That's ugly. Why did I click that color? Okay, that one's good. All right, and you might want to make the text different color, different font, blah, 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 right? But again, this is just a template, so you want to plug in what you want. Right here, I might put like top post of the week. And you can make the entire block all caps, or you can just make it regular. Top post of the week, I feel like needs to be. Um, X, I always put XYZ and then um, read it, make it if it's a recipe, grab it if it's a download, you know, just something that is going to get them to click. And then because this is a template, we're leaving this image blank. I'm going to try something with my email list. I have three different buckets of people, or three different buckets that people fall into whenever they visit my site. They either want to learn about, you know, like freelancing and blogging and writing. And uh, that bucket of people, I talk a lot about AI and Jarvis and outranking and different tools to make your writing go a lot faster. So uh, that's one of the buckets. And then the other bucket is Etsy. I have a ton of people who come to my site for Etsy advice. 
And then I have uh, people who come to my site for hustle advice. So just, you know, random hustles. I'm writing a post about DoorDash this week, you know, how to make more money with DoorDash. So those are my three buckets. And what I normally would do is have an email uh, segment for the Etsy, an email segment for the Jarvis and AI, and an email segment for the hustles. But for this, I'm going to try and put all in one email and see what my clicks look like. So whenever you're looking at your analytics, you can see, you know, which links people clicked on, uh, which emails people unsubscribed from. It's best to keep it concise with one topic. So do not do as I say, not as I do. I'm, this is just a test I'm doing. So I'm just showing you how to build a template right now. I'm not showing you the actual ins and outs of email marketing. So please keep that in mind. That is not the point of this video. Um, I want to have you know, uh, top post of the week, Etsy, side hustle of the week, and then blogging, writing, writing tip of the week, because that's going to cover, I don't really teach people how to blog. I teach them how to make more money with their blogs and how to write faster and how to be freelancers and that kind of thing. Uh, I really like the white text way better than the dark. Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot better. So what you want to do is make sure that you are, you're coming in and you're looking at all of these little things because these are the little things that take a lot of time if you have to do them over and over again. So you're setting up this template to save yourself time. And then for me, I like to put a little bit more of an intro. So the outro goes here. Um, my name will go here, but I'm going to duplicate this. So if you want to duplicate something, just click here on the duplicate button and then you can drag it all the way where you want it to go. I'm going to put it right here because the intro goes here. Um, and this is going to be a catchy headline. Oh yeah. All right. So I like how it looks. I've got my intro, I've got my outro, and then my sign off. So, um, thanks for being awesome. See you next week. And then this is too much space for me. I don't like this. I love space, but I don't, I don't like it. And I don't like my face here again. Like my face is already up there. Okay, but I do want a PS. So, oh, I don't want to do that. I want to duplicate. So this is going to be my PS. Duplicate. And then drag down, and that's going to be my PS goes here. And it's going to be italic. Again, these are just these little things that are going to take time if you're doing them every single time, right? So you're setting this template up to save yourself a ton of time. Once you're happy with how the template looks, Okay. Looks good to me. Um, we're going to go over here. We're going to go and do the workflow, but let's see. Thanks for being awesome. See you next week. Honestly, join my Facebook group. And then I need the Facebook group link. Which link am I going to do? I guess I'm probably going to do the blogging with AI. Blogging with AI. That link. My blogging Facebook group. And that might change. Who knows? Whatever. Right? Whatever. Is what it is. Okay, there's the link. Now I'm going to click next just to, you know, make sure that it saves. And right here, you want to have the from name, your name, your blog name, however you want to set that up. And then you're going to have your subject line here. So I'm just going to put template and then not going to put anything there because I don't need the preview text. Okay, that's where I stop. Now I'm going to go back to the main section of Flowdesk by clicking the F and see that my template is here. Perfect. Now we're going to go over to workflows. We're going to go to new workflow and start from scratch because I already have, um, let's see, sample. YouTube. This is just a video for you guys. I'm not going to actually use this right now. Uh, so that's my title. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Uh, I, I'm not going to use their templates because I already have one. So that's why I clicked start from scratch. You can always use their templates. Add trigger is going to be like when someone is added to a segment. So I'm just going to put YouTube because I won't have that segment. Um, but you're going to put in, you know, all subscribers or uh, people who bought your product. So customers, you can have any type of segment that you want. Again, not really teaching uh, email marketing to you right now, just showing you the exact uh, technical and design aspects of creating a template and a workflow. Uh, the next thing you want to do is have a time delay. So this is what we talked about in the beginning. You can have a time delay to where if this is your welcome series, you're going to say, okay, here's your freebie that you opted in for. And then maybe tomorrow you're going to have another one. And then maybe three days you're going to have another one. Uh, but another aspect of it is the dated stuff that I was talking about. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those. So time delay, let's just say we're going to wait one day and, uh, Apologize, apologies here. I'm learning Spanish, so some of my words in my screen are from are Spanish from the uh, Toucan app, and uh, it's a really great app. But I, I don't ever turn it off, so some of my videos are going to be have words in Spanish. But anyway, wait one day, and then the next thing is an email. So you're going to click duplicate an existing email, and then you're going to choose make a copy of that template. Uh, you're going to change the name and you're going to add your preview text and then you're going to edit it for real. So you're going to go in and add the images and all that stuff. Now, if you don't have your own images, you can go in and I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, you can go in and use images from Unsplash. So say that I'm talking about the top post of the week and it's about driving for DoorDash, right? So I'm just going to put driving. All of these images are perfect for driving with DoorDash. And you can move it around if you want to up, down, whatever. And if you don't like it, then just press the X and do a new one. Okay. This is where you're going to change your stuff and then you're going to link it. So remember to link after you type your stuff in here, click on link and then type the link in. Make sure that you do that. So I'm going to go back over here because I'm just showing you the flow now we're going to do a time delay and we're going to do an email. Uh, the time delay though, this time is going to be, uh, and again, you're going to do your welcome sequence is probably going to be three to seven emails. So this is just me skipping ahead, showing you the other way to do the evergreen that I was talking about earlier. Um, and it's interesting that it's called evergreen because it's specifically for certain times of year, but I don't know what else to call it. A forever series, maybe, maybe a forever series would be more fitting, but you would choose a specific day of the year. And then you would say, okay, this is Christmas content. So we're going to send it out on our Sunday in a, you know, a week or two before Christmas. We're going to choose the time. Again, I send everything at like three or four usually. Uh, and then you can choose an email here. We're going to duplicate, make a copy. Same exact process, right? Change the name. Uh, but what happens if you send them something and you want a different email to go out to them based on a condition? So if you click on condition here, it says no condition specified. This says take action if, and then if they opened the email, then they go a certain way. If they clicked a link, they go a certain way. So, uh, or you could do subscribers and segments, or you could do a field match, but I'm just going to talk about these two. So say that the subscriber opened your email and you're just seeing if these people are active on your list. If they're active on your list, then this says conditions are checked immediately, add a delay before the condition. So the recipients have time to open their email. So we want to add a delay, time delay, and give them, you know, say two days to open their email and then if they opened it, yes, okay, then we're gonna send them another email. We're gonna send them maybe a freebie or we're gonna send them a email, an email talking about our product. If they didn't open the email, maybe we're going to resend the email from above, okay? And then from there, you've gotta, I'm gonna just fill these in because it's not gonna let me move forward if I don't. 
from there, you've created this uh, segment inside of your segment of, okay, these are active people. These are people that I'm going to keep nurturing. These people didn't open. Okay, let me resend that. And then they're going to be flowed into the ones who did open as well. And this can get as big as you want. You can have, you know, another delay and then another condition. Okay. Or you could have a delay and an action step. So what's the action? You can add subscribers to a segment or you can remove subscribers. So if you had a segment for active subscribers and these people didn't open and then they didn't open this one, then the action could be to remove them from that segment. That might be how you clean up your list. Um, over here, you might have another segment for them. So again, you and you can go on and on and on and keep branching out and get as complex as you would like. I like to keep mine very simple, but I know that one of my first questions that I get is going to be, okay, what are these conditions? How do I do it? So I wanted to include that. You just keep going on and on and on until you get all of your emails done. So for me, that means 52 emails. Every single Sunday for a whole year, you're going to get an email that talks about hustles or um, cooking or, you know, whichever blog it is. So my craft blog, every single week, there is an email that goes out with a roundup of crafts that match that theme for the week, the month, the season, the, you know, whatever. So you don't have to get too complex. You can just do your, you know, time delays. You could also just do the dates after you do your welcome series. Again, a welcome series is, you know, anywhere from three to seven beginning emails that you want every single person that signs up to get. And then you can dump them into the dated forever, evergreen, whatever we're going to call that series. And then again, if you want to get more complex, you can add in workflow automations that have to do with actions that have to do with, uh, what people are clicking on there. There's so many things that you can do here, but what I want you to focus on to start is just the welcome series, which is dripped out one day, two days, three days, that kind of thing. And then the dated series, and then just going in and editing these emails, adding in exactly what you want to talk about that week, add the different, you can use stock photos or your own, that kind of thing. And make sure you have a PS. My, the PS is always clicked the most, like almost always across all of my blogs, across all of my email newsletters, almost always the PS is clicked the most. So I would love to see you guys using that PS. It is powerful. It is a great tool to use. Um, and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I will answer them as soon as I can, but this should be a simple enough workflow for you to get started with Flowdesk. And again, sadiesmiley.com forward slash Flowdesk is my uh, link. Let me see, sadiesmiley.com Flowdesk. How about that? I could have had this scrolling the whole time. It's so fancy. Uh, but that's my affiliate link. So no matter what the price is, whenever you sign up, I'm assuming that it's going to be, you know, you get 50% off if you sign up through somebody's link. I would love it if it's mine. And if you have any questions, like I said, go ahead and ask. I really love Flowdesk. Their emails are beautiful. Their templates are so easy to use. And my deliverability has been through the roof. So if you're struggling with uh, any of that, <laughs> uh, try Flowdesk out. It's free to start and see what you think and let me know what you think. Uh, and now you have literally no excuse. You know how to do an email automation and workflow and you know how to make a template. So uh, no excuses, no excuses, zilch, nada. You have to get your emails up now. Like you saw this video and I know you saw this video. Like, I don't know everybody who saw it, but you saw this video and now your excuses are gone. So I want you to, heck, send me your email list to sign up, <laughs> sign up for it. Yes, there's always homework. <laughs> um, send me your email list. I'll sign up for it. I'll open it. I'll click through. I'll check it out. Um, and if it's a good fit, I'll stay on your list. Uh, but yeah, I would love that. Your, your excuse is gone now. Sorry. I do that. I always do that. I always get rid of your excuses, you guys. No choice. Go forth and type emails. Have a good day.